Hi everyone, it's nice to meet you. My name is Alicia. If you're new here, welcome. I am opening a handmade store called Coffee and Clipper because I believe that sometimes we all just need a little bit of coffee and good luck to get us through the day. At least I do. <laughs> so in today's vlog, we're going to be going through a lot of the business startup prep. So I'm still trying to figure out all the logistics with the packaging, with creating my collection and making sure that all looks good and together and just figuring out everything else along the way and in between the lines. You just never realize how much goes into a business until you start one. And so join me on this journey, a very chatty journey. I've been really enjoying talking to the camera. So I hope you're ready for that and enjoy. It's kind of my first time in the art community. It works so perfectly. I'm actually so impressed with myself. <laughs> so I woke up at like a good time today, but I just feel so sleepy. And I didn't feel sleepy when I first woke up, but now I feel sleepy. And so I've got no work done. And I know I'm going to kick myself later, so I should just get up. And I did get up and do a little bit of work, but I just felt so sleepy. So, yeah, a little progress update here. Hi, I'm finally dressed and I did my makeup. It is 2.45. Yikes, I woke up at 9 a.m. today and I didn't fall back asleep, which is good, but I'm just a potato until I can actually get myself up. So now I'm up, now I'm ready. Um, I still feel a little sluggish today, not gonna lie, but I'm trying to push through it. I have an event to go to as well, which is why I'm dressed up a little bit more today. Here, I'll show you my outfit. So this is my outfit. I kind of don't like how bubbly this is, but it's also like... I know you can belt it, and I did try that. It didn't look as cute, um, but yeah, just some black dress pants, and then I kind of like how this is like kind of that, um, you know, the doll dresses. So it kind of looks like that, but it also like gives me no shape at all. So I feel like this, but it's very like flowy. So I don't know. It works. It's not my favorite outfit, but it can be cute. I think. I don't know. So the plan today is, well, originally the plan today was that I was going to sculpt and I was going to do like all this stuff. I was going to finally glaze my pieces, which I might still glaze the pieces at least, but sculpting's not really there. But I have my bone mailers and I've been really wanting to see if they work in my printer. So I have two printers. This one is my sister's that she left behind. It's a um, laser printer, um, whereas mine is an inkjet. And so I'm going to use mine. Mine specifically I bought because I was going to open a sticker shop and never did that. Um, and so I've never actually used the printer. I print, test printed one thing and then I printed out like a resume one time and then that's it. So it really has not been used at all. But it's full color, which is nice, whereas my sister's is only black and white. I'm going to try and see if I can make a... Not even like a design, but just figure out the dimensions of this, see if it'll go through and if my printer will like read it and print on it so that way I don't have to buy a stamp. So unfortunately, it's kind of like what I suspected, but the bubble mailers are just a little too thick, so it doesn't feed through the printer, which kind of sucks because I was really, really hoping it could. Um, so I guess we'll have to go buy ourselves a stamp, but that will be for a 
another day. <laughs> okay, I lied. I just decided I'm gonna need to get the stamp anyways, so I just bought it now. Because why put it off if I know that I need it? Because that's what I do. So now I need to buy like the actual ink. But oh my gosh, guys, I am so surprised. And I really hope that this ends up looking good. Originally, the stamp was supposed to be $50 with tax and everything. And then when I go to check out, it applies a sales discount of $38.82. Like what? And then um, Honey helped me get like another discount that I guess was going on. So I only paid $16 for the stamp. And it's like a, like, to round off, it's like a one by four inch stamp. Like, that's a big stamp. Usually that would be $50, and I was so expected to pay that. So I'm, like, shocked right now. The savings. Hopefully the stamp looks good, though. Because um, if not, I'm going to be a little sad. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm excited now. It's happening. Okay, so I'm currently looking at um, the ink pads right now and all the different colors. It seems like black, red, blue, green, and one more are like the classic colors. And I was thinking like, oh, I really want a brown. But now that I think about it, like this is already brown and it is a very light brown. But then at that point, like, do I do just like a red or a black instead? Like the brown that I'm thinking of is probably dark enough where it's just going to be confused as black, but just like slightly lighter. And like, that's why it's like I kind of want it because it kind of has that more like softer feel to it whereas black seems very harsh but then like red could also work depending on just how like red it gets but then it's like or do I just try to find a brown but what if the brown doesn't show up very good on here so that's what I'm searching for currently on Amazon oh this one says it's coffee brown also, I am very cozy right now. The humidifier plus the air purifier, it makes my room so cold right now. And so I am freezing. I was warmer downstairs in like the big space, which is not normal. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing my big fluffy pink robe, keeping me warm. <laughs> the millionth update. I decided I'm just gonna go to Michael's someday and just look at the color of stamp because they have one that's called sepia but I'm just worried the case sticker is lighter than what it shows on like the actual stamp so I'm just a little worried of like what color it actually is so I'd rather just go see it in person I'll just go at some point this weekend um, and check it out maybe I'll go after this event that I'm going to Okay, I changed my outfit. This is it instead. Just because I didn't like how the, out the other outfit just didn't look as cute. This one, I still don't know fully how to wear it, um, but it is like a no shoulder thing or whatever. Um, but this part always folds up, so I always gotta like readjust it, but it's super cute. I like it and it's like a knit and it's super soft, so. I think this is a little bitter. I don't know. Someone tell me how to style my clothes. I don't know how to... <laughs> okay, I'm off to the event. Goodbye! So I've been editing all morning because I wasn't really in the clay mood, so that's kind of what's been happening. I'm either gonna sculpt today or I'm going to finally paint my other monitor because I've been wanting to make it white and I just haven't done that yet. So those are the two options, but for now, 
Mom is finally back home from Korea, so she made some kimchi chicken. So I have that with some rice. And I am going to eat because I actually haven't had breakfast yet and I realized and I woke up at 9 and it's already 2.39 right now. So it's been almost six hours without breakfast, which is not good. Don't do that, guys. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat right now. I like how the vlog, I think I like how the vlog is turning out. It's just rough edits right now and I still have a couple more clips to put in. But yeah, this is what's happening. I wasn't originally gonna do my makeup today because I was feeling lazy, but it's so beautiful out today and I was looking out my window and the one of the trees has like these beautiful yellow leaves on them. So I just had to take some product photos. And so I took some videos and photos of my cat ear beanie and I think they turned out so beautiful, guys. I'm really excited to share them. I'm sure by the time that this is posted, I've already shared a bunch of the photos and videos, but I'm so excited with how cute they look. Like, the white is definitely more my color than the blue. Or it's called Iced Aqua. So I have Winter White and Iced Aqua. But the Winter White looks so good. The Winter White is definitely more my palette. I wear a lot of neutrals, but I really like that the Iced Aqua is just like such a pop of color and so perfect for like the winter season coming up. So I'm really excited. I also want a pink one, to be perfectly honest. I just don't have any pink yarn and I'm really contemplating going to buy some, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm so happy with how they turned out. So I'm excited to edit everything and share everything. I have my third coffee of the day, decaf. Um, but I did some product photos and then I went downstairs and made some air fried wontons, which were not super great, <laughs> but they were what they were. Um, and I ate a bunch of them. So that was my dinner. And now I think I'm just gonna edit more of my next vlog and play some games and go to bed from there. Why is this so red? I must have rubbed it. But yeah. Hey, so it's been a while since I've done any sort of clay work. Mainly just been editing videos, trying to get some social media done. Um, I'm actually really excited. I've already got like a cute little like following going on, mainly with like a bunch of different artists, but it's so fun like how the community is. It's kind of my first time in the art community. And so, I don't know, everyone is so sweet and all their stuff is so good. And so it definitely inspires me a lot to just keep going at it. But I've mainly just been wanting to continue editing because I've been feeling a little sluggish, kind of like a bum. It is rainy today and so it also doesn't make me want to do a lot of work, but I did my makeup and I got myself dressed, even though it looks like I'm in pajamas. Um, this is my comfy outfit and so I kind of decided that I should do some clay work today. Um, and so that's my goal is to do some clay work. I feel like I should get myself a wireless mic so that way hopefully there's not too much background noise in this. But yeah, so that's kind of the plan today and we'll go from there. I am dressed in pink. I've got my pink cup. Coffee one of the day. I woke up so late today, by the way, it's already 3 p.m. I woke up at like 1, and only because my boyfriend woke me up by calling me. Yeah, but it is what it is. I clearly needed the rest, and so I decided not to set my alarm at night, and sometimes that's just needed when you know that you don't have any certain 
obligations, like time sensitive obligations for the next day. I know that I can just continue working into the night tonight, so yeah. But today we are not only gonna do some clay work, but we're actually also going to finish glazing all of our pieces. I wanna try that dipping technique that I've seen um, because I haven't ever actually tried that and I'm a little worried too, just because I don't want there to be too much product on my stuff, but if that looks good, then I might re-dip all my other things. But yeah, we're gonna try that. And if not, we'll just paint it normally with a brush. This coffee tastes so good, by the way. It's the Korean mixed coffee that you probably see if you watch like K-dramas and stuff, they always use mixed coffee, but oh, it tastes so good because it already has like creamer and sugar in it. And I try not to drink too much of it because that's a lot of creamer and sugar. Um, and it does like, it's kind of like a dessert, like it is sweet, but it's nice to like start off the day on like a good note. You're already like treating yourself to something sweet because you deserve it. So I like it. And then this mug, one of my best finds from literally the dollar store, like, and it's great like it's it's really sturdy hasn't chipped ever like it has like a cute little speckled um look to it like oh i love it so yeah anyways time to work oh my gosh and then i pre-made like a bunch of my keychains because i figured that'll be easier and faster i had a bunch of them and i was like where do i put them in and then I remember I made myself, because originally I wanted to sell these, which are like polymer clay home decor stuff. And I was like, I have this and I have nothing to put into it. And so, yeah, I have like my little mushroom box that I am now keeping. I might make like a little trinket box um, someday. This was like one of my first creations that I wanted to add into the shop. It would be cute if I added like a little face to him. And I never finished him off either. Like I didn't glaze him, I didn't do anything. And same thing with this guy that I'm sure you see often. This was my very, very first polymer clay creation that I ever made. Like just my first project of touching polymer clay. He's a little pen holder. He's super cute, just a little stump. So then I made him and I've been using him like every single day. Like he's super great. It works so perfectly. And so these were what I originally wanted to put into my shop. So if you guys like them, let me know. Like I can keep practicing. He has like a cute little lid. Like it's, it looks very rustic and homemade, but also like I loved making these. Like I was so proud of myself for making these. But then at some point along the way, like I made her and then that duplicated into like, I really like cute stuff. And so I kept making cute stuff, but I am so down to keep making like more cute little like home decor too. So yeah, let me know. Hello. So I've been sitting here for quite some time just thinking about what more to make for my collection. I feel like the ducky leaf didn't work. I feel like the bear bath didn't work. And I just really feel like I need at least one or two more pieces. And so today I kind of decided I'm going to make a little kitty cat. Um, a little like orange, orange and white kitty cat. And we'll just see how that looks. And then I kind of really want to make the coffee squirrel but with a little toque and either some hot cocoa or holding a snowball or something super like wintry and cute but that was my other thought i don't think i'll make coffee squirrel today though but i for sure want to try the kitty cat because essentially i tried really hard to think about something that was me something that represented me like coffee squirrel is great because i love coffee um and i love squirrels and so I love the like aspect of the squirrel on his tail, which is why she's a coffee squirrel. Um, and then penguins are my favorite animal, despite me having bunnies at one point. Um, bunnies are like my, my love animals, but penguins are my favorite. And so, because one time when I was younger, a bunny came and I was growing this sunflower and a bunny came and chomped it off as it was growing. It was like still in its baby stage, just sprouted out of the soil. And so that made me like really upset at bunnies for a long time. And so I changed my favorite animal to penguins because at the time it was rabbits. I'm a terrible storyteller. And so that was so like all over the place. But yeah, 
So today we're gonna try sculpting some kitties and see how that goes. Guys, the kitties are done. Oh my gosh, they turned out so cute. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Today was definitely a good clay day. So good luck today. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I'm so happy about them. I can't wait to bake them and then we'll glaze them. And then they're done. <sighs> I love them. I just put them out of the oven. So my like first first guy that I made had like hairline cracks at the back. And then one of these guys had a crack in his face. But while it's still like decently warm, like kind of hot to be honest, I just fuse him together while he's still like malleable. And now you can't really see him at all because I don't know which one had it. So that's a good sign. But yeah. I still can't figure out what is causing the cracking and so part of me feels like maybe I bake it for too long but I only bake it for 25 minutes and I hear you could bake like for hours sometimes if you want to but yeah they turned out so cute I'm so happy I'm practicing drawing my little characters. Kitty turned out so good. I'm actually so impressed with myself. <laughs> I'm not good at drawing and so this is like this is this is really good for me, okay? I'm sure like other artists are like that's pretty basic, but like look guys, like I did it. I'm so proud of me. And she looks so good. She looks so cute. I can't wait to make her into little stickers. I was drawing my penguin that I made and then I was looking at pictures of penguins because I was like thinking of like adding a little charm with them too and just wanting to see like what else do penguins do and then I realized most penguins have this thing around their eyes but I made mine like this and I think I like this better like it looks cuter so now the question is do I remake my charms like this is cute but I like this. I can't tell. Guys, this was my concept photo for Coffee Squirrel. What the heck is this? <laughs> the penguin one isn't as bad, but my god, it's still not as good either. <laughs> and we can't forget about Kitty. 